Vice Chancellor, Honored Chair, Senior Military Officers, Dignitaries, Academic Staff, Ladies and Gentlemen. I'm here today to present you a research work that I have carried out comparatively in a new area, especially to the Sri Lankan military. I would take approximately 12 to 13 minutes to complete my presentation, and if you have anything to clarify further, you may raise your questions at the question and answer session, please. For your easy assimilation, I have divided my research work into following subtopics. <coughs> the reason why I was interested in this area because of the opportunity that I have got to study on this particular discipline at University of Moratua, even though I never completed it. I saw a massive lacuna in AI, especially in the Sri Lankan military, whereas the developed countries such as USA, UK, Germany, France, and Israel are immensely using artificial intelligence or AI in various aspects. Iron Dome is in Israel is a classic example for this. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Stone Age, humans have immensely worked to convert the physical environment to a more conducive environment. On the contemporary scenario, the machine utilization for physical, analytical, and logical process have immensely increased to an extent where the application of AI or the artificial intelligence or mechanical prompt thinking is essential to replace or substitute human intervention. Interne uh, artificial intelligence is the science and engineering of making intelligent machines, softwares, games, toys, or any other artifact intelligent. We can define intelligence as one's ability in gathering data by observation, capacity in logic, abstract thought, understanding, self-awareness, communication, learning, emotional knowledge, memory, planning, creativity, decision-making, decision and finally, the problem-solving. Making an artifact to have all above is an absolute challenge. However, thanks to the innovation of computer technology, intelligence over artifacts is no more a conceptual theory. It's now existing. Extensive research work being carried out, especially in research, uh, research agencies like DARPA in USA, Selex in Italy, and Thales in Germany, etc. The main objective of my research work is to emphasize the importance of AI in military and propose two specific objectives as appears on the slide. The primary data for the research work was collected from the direct engagement in air operations. The secondary data was gathered reading government publications, book proceedings, or conference journals, online publications, military publications, and the data from the free previous research work carried out in AI perspective. Unpublished and published data gathered from secondary sources have been utilized in identifying the variables and parsimony. Also, the literature survey was taken into account in testing the findings. Military has concluded, uh, conducted operations ever since without AI from the ancient times. It was my interest to test a hypothesis to understand the impact of AI in air operations. For this, I have considered the op humanitarian operations, which was victoriously concluded in year 2009. Then I formulated a hypothesis as the application of AI will increase the operational potential of Sri Lanka Air Force. In this process, I have taken the mission success of operations which utilize limited AI applications and operations which had not utilized AI, especially in year 2006. However, the word success is a qualitative measurement. 
where success can be considered as a state of mind where it can be changed by individual to individual or place to place. The theoretical framework I developed in this research gave me a few other variables too. Especially, I have taken training as a moderating variable. The agents have to be trained in utilizing AI for mission success. There's a big weightage on this. Even the intelligent agents need to be learned sometimes to deal with dynamic and tense environments. While reviewing the literature, I saw the amount that governments invest on certain research and development agencies in this field. Especially USA can be considered as the topmost investor in AI. An elaboration on this regard is not required as Professor Atau Rahman yesterday has very clearly educated us all about the new trends in the world, AI trends in the world. So the question that we have is why not AI for Sri Lankan military operations? Is it because of the confidence level or because of the consequences? Electromagnetic, uh, man uh, electromagnetic battle management or EMBM Joint Electromagnetic Spectrum Management, that is JESM, were new trends that have applied in certain military operations by countries like USA, even though most of us have never heard of these applications before. In Sri Lanka Air Force perspective, the applied technology in air operations were not exactly we can recognize as AI. However, the initial attempt was made by enhancing the soft infrastructure of the organization while utilizing UAVs like technology to replace extensive human resource utilization in target data sensing. However, the analyzing and interpretation was done with the help of human intervention. Thus, it reduced the human factor in data collection. The radars were linked and a distributed system was formed in air defense. This gave the concept of possibilities in distributed systems to the Air Force. Systems such as EPAS, that is Equipment Provisioning and Accounting System, ARMS, that is Aeronautical Engineering Resource Management System, and GERMS, General Engineering Resource uh, Management System, are the classic examples which can be emphasized as the limited capability AI distributed systems of the Sri Lanka Air Force. AI and intelligent agent are the main dimensions of synergy for computer simulation and computer games. They fabricate realism of the physical world and provide unique opportunities for learning in complex and synthetic operations. Development of agents with advanced cognitive abilities which can handle perception, anticipation or understanding is a greater challenge. The development of agent who can handle personality, emotion or cultural aspects will be a real challenge too. Modeling and simulation with ADS, that is Agent Directed Simulation, uh, simulation has introduced these kind of innovations. This gave promising results. The same can be applied for higher military training centers in Sri Lanka too. These officers can be given a virtual scenario to test their rational judgment in battle. Effect-based operations is a new concept that the DAPA developed in this sense where the machine-to-machine -machine intelligent communication was tested. This system will rely on technologies like AI, ontological reasoning, and knowledge-based processing. During the research process, I identified certain Sri Lankan capabilities lies with especially the companies like Virtusa, BPO Connect, SimCentric, technologies. They have engineers who are developing this uh, synthetic environment for USA-like countries, which uh, where we have not utilized them or their resources at least to develop 
a layman application for Sri Lankan military. These companies are using synthetic environments such as VBS2, that is virtual battle space or a battlefield uh, simulation system. And it is a photo uh, realistic 3D training environment. They focus on developing realistic simulations in games and other relevant applications. In developing such distributed AI system, it is imperative to understand the methods of determining the contribution of organizational intelligence, or OI, to distributed AI. To ascertain the ways and means of distributed AI benefits the organizational intelligence. To determine whether the organizational intelligence as an important distributed AI application. While all this, it is imperative to consider the following facts in developing such facility. First one is the database management and knowledge base management. Secondly, the modeling and case based handling. Finally, the workflow management and conflict resolution. With all these, the system should show a fully automated, intelligent, human-like behavior in problem solving. With the long-lasted 30-year war in Sri Lanka, military has a point to ponder to have a proper joint coordinating center as in military, uh, develop many other developed countries. This is paramount important to coordinate the usage of AI applications in various disciplines. Especially, it is important to understand that the successful war effort in 2009 was due to the cooperated and coordinated battle management of the tri-services through layman available check technology. The same can be developed further through the AI if integrated correctly. Also, in a non-conflict scenario, the competency maintenance can be done through AI, integrated battle management simulation. This can be achieved by giving adequate training to the combatants and military staff. Also, this can be utilized in maritime surveillances, law intercity conflict management, border protection, against drug trafficking, against human smuggling, etc. The automated data gathering and analyzing should not be restricted to military. The opportunity should be given to the non-military application as well so that the new research disciplines such as seawater level measurement and temperature variation measurement will emerge. After seeing the promising results even by the layman applied AI nature in AI operations, the users identify this as a valuable field of explore. As such, the researcher suggests a proper infrastructure and a research and development in this sense. In furtherance, I suggest to amalgamate the academic scholars and capable military office officials in developing this system so that the military and academic both can be benefited. Also, the researcher suggests that the forums like Kotalal Defense University should introduce such curricula for young researchers. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to conclude my presentation stating that the utilization of AI in AI operations will increase the operational potential of combat units and the services. Thank you.